A life-changing investment, a local man going all in on a food truck that's serving up more than just food. It's also creating a sense of community. Levin is back with more on his story. Levin? Kate Liam, sometimes it takes a person to hit rock bottom for them to realize their dream and their purpose. On this Food Truck Friday, we send you to a food truck destination, to Wakefield, where you can meet the wonderful Carl Galasso, and he runs Fred's Franks. Carl Galasso will tell you he's lucky to be here. I mean, two years, there were times we didn't even know where our next meal was coming from. Life was hard, and Carl had to make a move. So we went all in and bought Fred's Franks. Now, I had already cashed out my 401k, and I was ready to make the purchase. Just the best thing I ever did, other than buying my dog. Um, I gotta say, marrying my wife, too, right? <laughs> say all that. Logan and the wife. Now, the food is great. He has a creation called the Schnurble. The schnurbel is um, a combination of a chorizo, which is a spicy Portuguese sausage, um, a hot dog on a bit of sweet cabbage, which we marinate ourselves, mayo, and a special sriracha baba sauce. Okay. Listen, the best glizzy in Boston. I'm not lying to you, all right? This is the best glizzy. Now I'm about to dress it prom style. If you know, you know, all right? But it's more than that. This place doesn't have an address. It's near a lake off Lowell Street in Wakefield, but it's where the magic happens. I can't describe it, but this is like an, it's a culture. You know what I mean? I've had people who are waiting in line who don't have money. The person behind will say, I got that collar. Don't worry about it. You know, so he ends up paying. It's like, it's like you're walking into a different world. And for Carl, this food truck is his way of sharing. His food truck is community. It's getting to the heart to, to create an emotion in people, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, people tell me all the time, it's not just a food call. They come, we come for you. Carl is absolutely wonderful. Uh, his Franks, Fred Franks, was awarded best hot dog in the Boston area. So but as you can see, the goal is different. He's using food for hope and faith and bringing people together. And Kate Liam, I tried the Schnurbel on my trip there. <laughs> wonderful. So good. You know I had to bring what you guys yeah. Oh, yay. Look at this. This looks so good. A schnurble. Love it. It's so I'm gonna yummy. Dig in. I love this story so much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel like when I bring food on yeah. on Friday for Liam, he's just like, I, I'm, I'm eating. I don't, I don't care what the break is. So good. I'm not, not going to go to commercial break. Yeah, so good. Okay, we're done. Oh, wow. Oh, I have my breakfast now. I'm so excited. What a that great story. Delicious. Thank you, Lab. Thank you. No thank problem. you, Carl. Thank you. Thank you for the samples. He brings samples. He, he always brings samples. He does.